Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima. Whoever the hell decided it was a good idea to release Italia Totori Plus is an idiot. Anyway, let's just do a quick look at Radiant Flux. I'll turn this up a little. Alright, now before we ask, this really isn't like my phone being a horrible recorder. <laughs> it actually does look this blurry and horrible on the screen. So, what's this game about? Well, it's a shooter. A shooter in one of the weirdest of ways. Let's just start a new game. It's not a scrolling shooter, it's like a... It's like a free roaming shooter without the frame roaming. You can go all over the screen and the screen constantly moves to the left and not the right. This is a little, little tiny bit confusing. And as you, you, you can you fly around using the D-pad. There's no analog joystick control and for some reason it makes my thumb really hurt after like 5 to 10 minutes and it gets annoying as hell. You get two sub weapons. You press square, you drop this. It's like a proximity mine, kinda. And then you've got Circle, which is basically a smart bomb. Also you have X, which is your basic cannon. That meter on the bottom, I have no idea what it does, so I'm gonna assume it like upgrades your firepower somewhat. Those green ones there are enemy spawners. So you basically got to shoot them before you shoot everything else. And there are different types of enemies that come along after a while. But... To be perfectly honest, this game... I can see where they were going with it. But this really just isn't that fun to play, to be honest. I mean, the controls actually hurt my thumb after a while, because... These controls will work so much better on an analog stick. In fact, this game would work a whole lot better if it was something else. Like, the sub-weapons would work better if they were a little bit more accurate. The controls would work better if, if this game was more of a side-scroller and not a roaming game like this. The, even the graphics just don't look that good. They might look better if they... God damn it. Oh, by the way, you look like, instantly respawn, so if you completely lose track of where you are, get killed, and then spawn right in the middle of something, well, you're gonna get screwed. Oh, and there's no way to, like, hold, like, uh, the way you're looking, and, you know, like, do, do, like, a strafe fire? No, that just doesn't happen. Okay, yeah, these ones shoot back. Yeah, and after a while, you'll eventually get into a secondary, a second stage, like this one. And this is the most annoying shit I've ever had to deal with in my life. Holy crap. Because if you run into the environment, it's instant kill. So you're basically screwed when you get to about here, because you're being shot at. you got these things chasing after you. you got the green things spawning, and you just, can't man you just can't manage it all without crashing into the terrain, and you lose! That's as far as I've gotten. I have not- I haven't gotten p further than that stage. You have a continue down there, but it takes you to level 2-1. It takes you to the beginning of the level se segment that you're in. Not the exact wave that you're on, and it completely screws you. So... Yeah, this game isn't very pleasant. I mean, like, I'm- it's cheap. Like, it's- I, I don't remember the exact price, but it's not more than $2. And it's not really worth that. <laughs> it's just... A game that would have been so much better if just a couple of things were done different. If it was a scrolling shooter, if the sub-weapons made a little bit more sense and were actually useful from time to time, and if the scrolling stages didn't go in the, the really weird direction instead of the expected direction. <sighs> it's a shame, really. It could have turned out so well. And yes, the game really is that blurry and it does tend to hurt your eyes after a while. 
So, and that's pretty much all there is to it. There's high scores, as you saw, but there's literally nothing else to it. No settings or anything, so the game basically just blurs at you. <laughs> Man, this is going to look so horrible on the video. Anyway, this has been Blue Maxima. I really do not recommend this. And I'll see you all next time.